I think I learned that skill in the science museum where you have the general public, some of whom know a lot, some of whom know virtually nothing. And you want to have content for everybody without putting off the less knowledgeable people with reams of stuff. I, I just found that challenge fascinating. Plus, and that's the other thing that I get terrific pleasure out of doing geology bites now as well, is that it gave me a license to talk to people who are generating the new technology. So I, I could just go in and talk to anybody because, hey, if this is going to be in the Science Museum, that was like huge kudos. This is a national museum with a lot of prestige. Mm -hmm. So everyone wanted to talk to me. And I love that, you know, and I'm, I'm also trying to make that happen with my podcast because I want people to feel like they want to be part of it. And it gives me an opportunity to speak to people who are just doing amazing work. I, I am really curious about what I talk to these people about. I really want to know the answers. I'm not just mm -hmm. asking the questions so my listeners can hear it. I am too, but I'm asking the questions because I want to know the answers. That's right. You in, you're engaging your your personal passion for the subjects. That's right. You've got a lifetime of, of experience that has led you to it. And so your passion for the subject and your preparation in the questions is very obvious. I think it's certainly very connected to what I found enjoyable about the Science Museum. It's just a different medium, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of the same things and a lot of the same gratification.